was amazing. It was the moment that just is going to stay in my mind and stay in my heart forever. The winner of the first ever Voice of Australia is... And I'm trying to be cool about it. It's Carice Eden. But Carice needed to win. She needed it. Have a look at that. Front page news. <laughs> oh. The morning after, the night before. Daybreak and Carice Eden is back in the makeup chair. Your only chance is to just sit there and yeah. relax. Yeah. Did you get much sleep last night? Oh yeah, a few hours. <laughs> Today, Carice, Australia's voice, is hot property. Everyone wants to know her and a new adventure is just beginning. I'm just kind of smiling and stuff, but my mind's actually quite distant. Um, it's such an odd feeling, and, but I'm so happy and I'm happy for everybody else in the show. Being Australia's voice means being very popular. An army of publicists and producers, radio interviews over the phone, television interviews in the studio. It's Carice Eden from coast to coast. Everyone wants a happy snap and everyone's wishing her well. All the best. Enjoy every moment. She's not just signing autographs. Her signature is now on a record deal as well. You only need here Carice once to understand why. What's the one moment that you'll never forget, Carice? It'd have to be when all four just went bang, 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 bang. And I turned around and just... That was the start of it, you know. Oh, this is our... She's talking about that blind audition, the birth of it all. From uh, the Central Coast, New South Wales. Uh, no, 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 no. You, you, you're from outer space. <laughs> in the 21 years that I've been doing this professionally and in 27 years in music, I, I, I haven't heard a voice like Carissa. Welcome to the voice. She chose me for some strange reason. But, you know, and I asked her about that. I, what did you say when I, when I asked you? Why did you, why did you choose me? Oh, because of your nails. Because of my nails, yeah. <laughs> That so nervous like, laugh that we've come to know and love has always masked a bruised soul. Carice was once a ward of the state, has been homeless and lived in women's refuges as recently as last year. But without that life experience, Carice doesn't think she'd get anywhere near the woman and the artist that she's become. I don't think I would have found that voice either <laughs> if I didn't have something that... To, to be sad about, to be angry about, to be hopeful about and to be passionate about. I wouldn't have found that if I didn't live that. And um, just, it's nice to know that people are appreciating it and look what's happened now, so it's good. When I first met Carice months ago, she told me about those toughest of times. You worry a lot more like, where am I going to sleep? Where's my next food? Because they move you around. If they need a bed, they'll just go, oh, well, you have to go move to this refuge. Or sometimes if a client got a little angry, they'd just go, right, well, you're not staying here. Police escort you out and you go stay at another refuge. Back then, she earned her money from busking. No need for that now. Last night, Carice won $100,000. $100,000? Oh, didn't tell me that bit. A universal music recording I contract. About that bit. And, and a new car. <laughs> What's it like going into I got into my this? L's. I don't even have my license. <laughs> you have to get your P's soon. <laughs> Again, that sense of humour and that laugh that puts us all at ease. Over the weeks when we've got to know Carice, she's gone from strength to strength. But this Lord in this world Last night it culminated in a duet with her coach and new friend Seal. What have you learned from this experience? Well, the, the show came around at a time in my life when uh, it, it was a little bit tumultu tumultuous. Um, it came around at a time where I needed to feel uh, really good about something. Focusing on something, on someone, has helped Seal. Just having someone to care about was the, was the biggest thing that I learned in, and the most valuable thing is just having someone to, to care about. For so long, Carice thought that no one cared about her. 
a theme that echoes in her music. You deserve no thank you for who I became. The emotion that I feel when I sing um, definitely plays a part of where I've been, where I've been, and who I am today. And I know that I wouldn't be that person without that, and I wouldn't sing with that emotion. Last night was emotional, beginning to end, and spare a thought for those who missed out. You're not going to move to LA and we're not going to see you again. <laughs> now that you're, you know, oh, wow. now that you're part of the Madden yeah. family. Part of the Madden family. Oh, no, um, yeah, like one day I'd love to go to LA um, sooner rather than later, but um, definitely for me, I want to release an album. That's, that's my dream. That's the dream so long. Keith's touring. You gonna, that? You gonna open for him? I don't know, man. I'd, he only announced it yesterday, so I mean, it'd be a dream come true. I mean, this ride just keeps getting better and better, really. We've been saying that all along. Love me cause I'm, part of you. I'm just wondering what I'm gonna do after, but yeah, it, it is really just the beginning of the rest of our lives and the rest of our careers. I'm just wondering what I'm going to do after, but yeah, it, it is really just the beginning of the rest of our lives and the rest of our careers. We could well see an album from each of them. For now though, it's Carice who's occupying five of the top six spots on the download charts. Hi, this is Carice Eden and this is my debut single. You Her voice, me. The Voice, is the all over the airwaves. Of the first ever voice of Australia, Carice Eden. Hello. Hey. <laughs> and her wonderful coach, Seal. How are you guys doing? Her wonderful friend now. Is there one piece of advice you'd give her? There's no advice for me to give her. She gets it. You can't give somebody endurance. You can't give somebody strength. You can't give somebody a great voice. You can't give somebody authenticity. With your hand in mine. Look what can happen in a year, you know. You can if you put your mind to it. See, or will you be coming back next year? Uh, I, I don't know. You know, um, I, I really don't know. I love this country. I, I've loved my time here and I've certainly loved my experience of working, with, working on the show and it's just, it's been wonderful, but uh, we'll see, you know. And soon we'll see just how high Carice can soar, the once homeless girl who's now found a home in each of our hearts. It's going to be a fun ride, that's all I can say. <laughs> Looking forward to it. You won't let me.